wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So I'm coming at you today real quick with this video because I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Um, because I had made a video. Apologies, I needed some caffeine. I need to get pumped, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I had done a video about this subject, or this uh, this story right here about how Mina Masood had got basically run off Twitter. Um, and, and you know, and, and he was he was basically just attacked left and right because he had made a comment about a tweet, which I'm going to pull up right now. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. I, I should have had this. I should have prepared. Oh, man. Ugh. So here's the tweet that he had said before. I'm going to get a little bit close. There we go. So it says, uh, it says, um, our film was unique in that audiences went to watch it multiple times. It's the only way we reached the billion dollar mark with our opening. My guess is The Little Mermaid doesn't cross the billion mark, but will undoubtedly get a sequel. And you know what? He is correct. I mean, he's been vindicated and it really sucks because, you know, he can get kicked off Twitter and just attacked. And I saw tw tweets of being like, hey, we won and everything. And but yet, you know, people attack other celebrities and people are like, oh, leave uh, whatever. Uh, 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 oh, geez. Rose Tico alone. What is her name? That actress. Although I doubt I don't believe that she got kicked off on Twitter. Um, you know, we we all these other people we were like, leave them alone, you know, leave um, Daisy Ridley alone and everything. But uh, Mina Masood gives his opinion and he just he gets attacked nonstop, quits Twitter. And they're like, we won that bigot. And um, it's just ridiculous. So there's uh, two things I want to bring up real quick. One is from Twitter. <laughs> You'll never find a place full of more, more wretched hive of scum and villainy than twitter okay so this is comes from a, a tweet from scott mendel this mendelson now i just want to say i do follow scott mendelson on twitter i do not like scott mendelson on twitter but at the same time i just go whatever it's fine so it says uh at scott mendelson uh the little mermaid has earned another 53 million worldwide for a new 414 million total it should end with around 525 million global uh cum accumulation uh including 275 to 300 million domestic once again mina masood was right hashtag box office and that's totally true mina masood was right you guys were wrong suck it if i was mina masood i would bring back my twitter and i would totally just be all like i i would post something i would post something about like hold on uh i want to read some of the comments but let's i would here's uh, the article oh man uh, uh, here's the article that I'm going to, to go through next. Uh, but it, it says right here, this is from the Gazette, the, uh, the, uh, science fiction fan fantasy Gazette. There were other articles, but I liked this one, the, 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 uh, uh headline. Anyway, so it says a little mermaid may struggle to reach 500 million worldwide by the end of its theatrical run. Now let's go back to Twitter where I want to go over some of the comments in this because some some of you guys are just ridiculous. So it says, I'm confused. Isn't this a good box office return? And it says it costs $250 million and way too many people automatically thought it would be a surefire $1 billion plus grosser. Masood was literally chased off Twitter merely for arguing that it wasn't a foregone conclusion. Totally true. I don't like the Scott Mendelson guy on Twitter. In fact, he uh, uh, makes me mad a lot, like with his tweets, because he's annoying. But I just go, uh, Mina Masood was right. He was right. And you guys attacked him because you're children. That's the thing about Twitter. I don't, I usually don't respond if, if somebody like right away because people make me mad. Um, and then I take a step back and I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna respond right away because I'm just gonna say something stupid and because I'm angry and I take a step back, I calm down and I just go, mm, this isn't worth arguing about. Like, like there's so many people that like, well, not so many people, but people will comment and I'm just like, my immediate reaction is just a, to, to figure out a, uh, like a witty response. And then I'm just like, I'm not going to send this. I'll draft it. And then, um, and then I, and then I'll, after like a day, I'm just like, Oh, I don't want to argue about this. It's so stupid. Why would I argue about this? So, um, just a couple. Uh, okay, 
to dismiss that no only that no only were his comments and i think you meant to say not rooted in anti-blackness the reason the film hasn't hit a billion is via anti-blackness like why are these aspects constantly dismissed in these financial uh success co com- conversations i don't think this person knows how to write it was never going to hit a billion uh one billion it didn't have anything new to offer beyond same movie but live action I was expecting around 700 million, so 500, 550 million isn't that far off, which I guess is right, but it's still off, you know. Um, yeah, it's not going to make its money back. I, I, I honestly don't think so. Um, I'll read a couple more. Um, it made 400 million in two weeks and has four more weeks to go. Seems like it seems it will make 800 million. Uh, plus, none of the Disney Marvel movies have made a billion post pandemic either i mean true but they suck those marvel movies suck i'm sorry you can defend them all you want but they suck uh um uh yeah that person's tweet is stupid i mean four more weeks i mean nobody's gonna go see the little mermaid now the flash is coming out then you have um i think indiana jones comes out before it's it's done um and and he was right about this this the sequel it was just live action i mean i know it was mostly cg but uh cgi but it's like it's like the lion king the lion king was just copy and paste it wasn't good in terms of like you know it was just the movie it wasn't good because the animals didn't emote like the animals in the little mermaid all right so i don't want to read any more of that because i'm probably just going to get annoyed with people because they're so stupid um so let's go over here and i know what you're thinking right now you're just hating to hate listen they got my money i went and seen it i paid for a ticket um the f- opening weekend but i'm not gonna go see it again why would i want to see it again i already saw it like you know it's the same thing like i loved guardians of the galaxy but i'm not gonna go back and see it again i already saw it in the movie theater i'm gonna wait um just like the flash except i am gonna see the flash twice i already have plans with some people but i'm gonna take my son to go see the flash this weekend and then i'm gonna go see it again sunday before opening weekend is done uh with some friends that's it that's it so i mean we need to we just need to be honest people saw it and they were one and done so now let's let's check out this article right here from the sci-fi and fantasy gazette now i know you're probably all like oh this isn't a real publication uh but listen calm down they 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 say some true things okay it says the little mermaid may struggle to reach the 500 million uh worldwide by the end of its theatrical run despite early box office pro- projections pointing to another 1 billion hit for Disney, the latest uh, numbers indicate that The Little Mermaid might be lucky to hit 500 million by the end of its run. Um, Ali Bailey, very beautiful. Um, yeah, you're going to be like, oh, this is anti-blackness. It's not anti-blackness. I thought Halle Bailey, she's very beautiful, very charming, all that good stuff. But like, we just have to be honest. This isn't This isn't about the color of the skin of The Little Mermaid. This is about... The fact that people like myself are sick and tired of these these copy and paste rehashes. And then you want to be all like, well, we added new things. Not enough. Not enough for me to make me go, oh, it was a great movie. Because you can check out my review, but it wasn't. It was very lackluster. Anyways, thought it wouldn't be at all accurate to call the movie a flop. The live action remake. No, you're a flop. If you don't make your money back, you're a flop. I'm sorry. That's just the end of that subject. I'm. You got to make your money back or you're a flop. And you could be a good movie. Like, this could have been a good movie and still be in a flop. That's happened plenty of times before. But I'm sorry, if you don't make your money back, then, you know, what are your, what are you a success? No, you're not a success. Anyways, um, Little Mermaid has de- uh, definitely been underperforming at the, at the least, at the latest box office updates, suggests that the movie won't come anywhere near its initial 1 billion projections, though the family-friendly reimagining of the animated classic has been holding steady in the U.S. after three weeks. On general release, it's just past $228 million domestically. It has been struggling in the international markets, and Variety believes the, mo- the movie will be lucky to hit $500 million worldwide by the end of its theatrical run. A recent report uh, indicated that the film is getting uh, doused in select foreign markets, uh, largely due to racist backlash over the casting 
of black astra- actress Halle Bailey in the lead role of Ariel. And I disagree with that 100%. I'm just like, I saw this TikTok because everybody's like, oh, China's racist. Now, listen, am I saying China's racist? Probably. I've seen some commercials where I'm like, Jesus. And, but I just want to say, I saw this woman. She's all like, you know, Chinese, we we love the animated classic. We just wanted to see the animated classic. Like we just wanted, if you were going to do a copy and paste, you should have done it copy and paste exactly like the movie from the 80s. Um, but you didn't. And now you're paying the price for it. Um, so it says, while there is often outcry over what is perceived to be forced diversity in major studio releases, it appears to have been taken to a new level in the likes of South Korea and China Sea, where The Little Mermaid has failed to make any kind of impact on the box office. That's true. There are likely other factors to at play, of course, as audience. You know, I just want to say Mulan didn't do that great in China either. And like that's a Chinese actress and they they placated China hardcore on that movie. So I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. They're like, I'm not going to read any more of this, but I just want to say that. Uh, um. Yeah, this this is just done. You know, I'll go, let's go back to this article. Mina Masood was right. This is what I want to go back to. Mina Masood was right. He said it wouldn't make a billion. He was right. He was kicked off Twitter. Basically, he was. You know, everybody wanted to be all like, "You're you're you suck, uh, Mina Masood." But he was right, and you were wrong, and you're just now you've got to cope. And you don't want to. And I just go, I just go, you should, uh, he should come back. He should retweet this if it's still available or find a picture of her and tweet it out there. And just, he should do something. Hashtag Mina Masood was right. Uh, and with, a, with the emoji of the bird, you know, flipping everybody off. Um, and then, you know, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what he should do. All right, you guys, I'm going to end it there because I'm pretty sure some of you are salty right now. But uh, I just say, listen, uh, sucks for Halle Bailey in terms of, but she's got a new movie coming out at the end of this year. So good for her. And I hope she gets more work because I don't have any problems with her. But the movie sucked. It just sucked. So, and Mina Masood was right. And you guys, you guys attacked him. And when I say you guys, I don't mean you. I mean, people on Twitter attacked him unnecessarily because he gave out his opinion. You know what would have been better? To not say anything, and if this hit a billion, retweet his and be like, you're wrong. Hashtag Mina Masood was wrong. Now, he can totally come back and be like, hashtag Mina Masood was right. And he can troll your asses. So, okay, I'm going to end this right now. But tell me what you guys think about this. Are you happy Mina Masood is right? Are you bummed Mina Masood is ra- uh, right? You know, did you like The Little Mermaid? It's totally cool if you did. Uh, if you did, I'm jealous that you liked it because I would have would preferred to like it. Um, but tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye. <laughs>